How's it going YouTube? I'm Jake from Jake of All Trades. Today I'm in my car. I'm in my 2005 Subaru Baja. Today I'm going to be showing you how I took this Android tablet and turned it into a head unit as a replacement for my car stereo. Alright, so this is the radio that I started out with. Uh, it was fine, you know, it had a FM, AM, and a CD changer. Um, it worked okay. Um, nothing bad about it at all, it's just a regular stock radio. This was the stock dash trim piece. Um, I removed that, uh, cigarette lighter included. Uh, I bought a new one on eBay because I knew that I would be uh, cutting into it and uh, kind of hacking it up uh, for this project. So I wanted to keep this one just in case I ever wanted to return my car to stock and put the old radio back in if I was ever going to, you know, sell it or uh, stop using this project. So this is what I ended up with. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a bit different. Uh, I got a new dash trim piece. Um, it's a little chipped and faded a little bit, but uh, I did cut it up as you can see. I got one with a cup holder because that was kind of fun. Whatever. Um, as you can see, I have this spring-loaded uh, tablet mount uh, with an epoxy putty uh, USB plug right there. So that's a micro USB plug that takes care of charging and data input and output. Uh, that's part of a uh, OTG Y cable uh, which accomplishes charging as well as data in and out. Uh, that OTG Y cable kind of runs back here and connects to this USB hub. Uh, runs right into there. Uh, there's also a USB charger hooked up to a cigarette lighter. Uh, a lot like this one. Uh, but it meets the power requirements a little bit better. So we have the USB charger and the uh, USB hub connected to that OTG Y cable. They kind of come together to form one micro USB plug. Uh, the tablet sits right into this mount and butts right up against there and plugs in. Uh, this NFC tag, it basically does all the tasks that I want the tablet to run in the car. So uh, you got the docking app uh, called Automate, which is based off of Android Auto. It turns on the uh, Wi-Fi, it turns on Bluetooth and GPS. Um, so instead of having to sit in my car and you know mess with the tablet, uh, getting ready, getting it ready to drive with uh, the NFC tag takes care of it. Plugged into the, this USB hub, I have a USB digital to analog converter. So I mentioned USB audio in my write-up. Uh, this is what kind of takes care of it. So this uh, takes digital audio out of the USB plug, uh, converts it, and then sends out an analog signal to an amplifier, uh, which is just a little power pack amplifier that sits way back here. Uh, the amplifier runs off of the stereo harness that I unplugged from my radio, uh, which I unplugged from that port right there. Um, so I just unplugged it and then bought a adapter uh, for a Subaru harness uh, and spliced the wires off of the amp together um, for power and for analog uh, out to the speakers. So here I have a DVB-T which uh, processes radio signals. Um, plugged to, into it is this antenna. Uh, this device, this dongle, came with its own antenna, which was about you know that tall, uh, which is supposed to stick up onto the dashboard. Uh, I didn't want to do that, so what I ended up doing was unplugging the antenna from this port on the radio uh, and spliced a connection, spliced that connection with the connection off of this antenna, the little one. So this is hooked up to my car's antenna right now, up, up on the roof. Uh, and it works great, I'll show you it in a second. So I also have two free ports. If I ever wanted to uh, plug in a thumb drive, uh, which will hold you know, music or movies or whatever media I want to play uh, through the tablet. Everything else in here is you know, just wiring. Uh, the RCAs, they go off the DAC to the amp, uh, the cigarette lighter, uh, the, the wiring harness. Um, off of this cigarette lighter is, I have a common ground throughout here, but the power to that cigarette lighter comes from that red wire, if you can see it, uh, which runs all the way behind the dashboard 
and the steering wheel over here to this side into that right there. That's called an add a fuse, uh, which basically it's just an open fuse right there. That came off of the radio, uh, so I know that it would work. And you just plug it in, and you can kind of steal power without having to plug a line directly into the battery. Okay, so I've got my car running. Sometimes you gotta find the plug. So you can see it lit up. The uh, touch the NFC tag turns on the docking app, and you can see also that it's charging now through that USB port. Uh, so this is kind of your app drawer. So you have just a few apps that I, you know, if I was sitting in the car and bored or something, I could watch YouTube videos or you know call a friend or. Uh, I'll play some radio for you right now. So this is radio coming from my car's antenna through that DVB-T. Uh, this app kind of lets that happen. So it sends a signal out through the DAC, sorry, through the OTGY to the DAC, which is lit up blue back there, uh, to the amplifier out to the speakers. So it gives you a little bit of information on what's playing. So that was radio. Uh, I'll play some music for you here. So you see it. It sounds pretty good through the speakers. The amp is actually, the gains on the amp are turned down as low as they can possibly be. Otherwise it gets uh, to be really loud. And you can see it barely has any volume. Anyways, um, so you can see that it charges, it plays music. Um, you can also do navigation and maps with it. Right? You can make calls through Hangouts Dialer, or if you have a phone, if you're using this on a phone, you can do that. Uh, you get some like notifications and weather through here. This only works if you're connected to the internet, though. So uh, right now I'm in my garage. I'm connected to the internet. If I was out driving, though, obviously I wouldn't be. So how I solved that was through my phone. So I've got my phone here. And I'm just going to touch it to this NFC tag. And you can see that Tether is now on. That basically means that I'm running a, a Wi-Fi hotspot from my phone, uh, the phone's data connection, creating a Wi-Fi hotspot in my car, which uh, turns Wi-Fi on on my tablet. And then when I'm ready to leave my car, just touch it again, and Tether is off. Uh, another cool feature about this build is engine diagnostics. So I have this app here called Torque. And this is running off of a Bluetooth OBD2 scanner, uh, which I'll show you right down here. That little blue box right there is the OBD scanner. Uh, it sends OBD information to the tablet via Bluetooth. You can see it's connected there. Uh, you can see my idle uh, RPMs, which pretty much match what the car is doing right now. And if I hit the gas, you can see it's similar or very close. There's a little lag because of Bluetooth, obviously, but you can also get some real time information uh, more than what the car will tell you. So you have revs, you know. Uh, throttle position, acceleration, uh, even like vacuum and coolant, you can get mileage, uh, some battery stats as well. Uh, so it's a very useful app for diagnostics 
uh, fault codes. It'll check those if you have a check engine light. So all in all, you know, I'm really happy with this build. Um, this is the default home screen. Uh, and as you can see, so the position, you know, I have this gap in here. I made this gap so I could uh, get a hold of some things in here, you know, mess with that, plug in a thumb drive if I wanted to, or make any adjustments. Uh, it's, you know, it's in a good hand position here. If I have my hand on the shifter, I can, uh, you know, touch and, uh, you know, change songs or, you know, navigate, do whatever I want. Uh, so it uh, really minimizes distraction, um, keeps me driving safe, keeps my eyes on the road. All in all, so that's kind of the build, you know, I went from uh, kind of a standard radio with FM, with FM and AM and uh, some CDs to, you know, all the music I could want. You know, I can stream music off Pandora, I can play some music that's saved on the tablet, I can uh, even play music and even movies sometimes for road trips off of this thumb drive. Uh, I can do, you know, GPS, I can do radio still. Uh, can do engine diagnostics, uh, check fault codes, um, and I can still charge the tablet, and I can also remove it. So, you know, it's just whenever you get out of the car, just pull it out and go. Uh, so, all in all, I'm really happy with this build. Um, it's working really well for me. It's really improving uh, the functionality of the car. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you got something from this. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave comments. Also check out the write-up I did on this project uh, on instructables.com. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching.